Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. Are you surprised to see me? Well, you shouldn't be because, uh, you know, sometimes in life things happen and I had a situation happen. A lot of you guys saw that I had some guy try to take my channel over. Yeah, some guy thought he knew everything. We have a lot of guys like that think they know everything and, uh, you're going to have that in life. But uh, I have to say, for those of you guys who don't know, there is a guy named Diesel. Diesel came out in my garage here, somehow got in here, and tried to take my channel from me, telling people what he was going to teach them and how much knowledge he had. The only thing that guy could teach anybody is how to say dude. So, you know, that's how I look at that. But you know what Diesel found out? He found out that a 65-year-old guy could uh, put a hurting on him. So, yeah, I took care of that guy. So you don't have to worry about Diesel anymore. That guy, if he comes back here again, well, there's going to be a little bit of trouble. Anyway, guys, thanks for putting up with my nonsense. I appreciate it. Uh, we've had a few little things going on lately with a little bit of fun. Uh, some of you guys have seen uh, me battle old Luke. That's still in fun. It's all in fun, guys. There's nothing bad going on. Just old-fashioned rival and racing. And smack talk. Has anybody missed the smack talk? Like back in the day, you'd have a guy that you could smack talk, and yet you kind of still like the guy, even though it's a rival. You you kind of miss them days. Like uh, you'd think these guys actually didn't like each other in the Pro Stock series, and they actually did like each other. Except you have a rival because people have their secrets to make their cars go fast. One guy has a certain brand that he likes and their guy would talk smack about what he's driving and things like that but it doesn't have to be serious it can be in fun it could be where it is kind of serious but you don't have to hate the person so there's a lot of different ways of looking at it but it should be where we don't want anything bad to happen to any of our rivals that should be on a serious note I have noticed that, fellas, that we might have a guy that we butt heads with, but you never want to hear that something bad happened to the guy, like where they've been uh, in a situation where they've gotten hurt or something like that. So that's on a serious note, I'll say that, because uh, we have to take that on a serious way of thinking. So whenever... There's a little rival with the racing world where somebody says something. Just try to take it with a grain of salt. That's how I look at it. Because you know what? None of these cars are going to matter when we're gone. Uh, if somebody is just out to say something bad about you, then there doesn't have to be a car involved i mean you're going to have these things happen in life too but we should all be good to each other best we can it's not best to uh make a situation when there doesn't have to be one remember that i'm kind of bad at that so i'm a good preacher but i'm not a good guy to listen to my own advice sometimes so I think some people know where I'm coming from with that. I had a preacher one time, he was doing a sermon and he said, I'm talking to myself. You guys are just listening. So everything that guy was telling people not to do or what to do, he says, I'm talking to myself because I need to hear it first. I never forgot that. I was a young guy when I heard that preacher say that. And I thought that was a very nice thing that he actually put his own self out there like that. Because a lot of them guys want to make you think they're 
holier than thou. And some of the congregations could be more of a, well, what we'll call Christian more than they are sometimes. So that's how I look at that situation. So I thought that was nice that we had a guy that was up on the pulpit actually saying that about himself. It lets you know that the guy speaking to you knows that there's situations in life that sometimes we're going to fall short the way we handle things. But enough with that. I just wanted to kind of keep this on the light side and let you fellas know that <laughs> I had a couple guys think Diesel's going to be hosting this from now on. And you're going to have to put up with somebody calling you dude every two minutes. No, you don't. Now, a few people did like him. And uh, if that guy acted better, maybe I could teach him a few things. But I think it'd be hard to get through to that guy. I, you know, maybe I could get him in here and show him some respect and things like that. But uh, we'd have to... We'd have to see if anybody even wanted that guy to come back in here. So, you know, I'm getting some dust off the car here, guys. This is from all the body work I did. Look, it's covered. And uh, I can't handle seeing it like this here anymore. So I thought I'd get a hold of you guys, explain a couple things, and um, dust this old car off a little bit. I have some things going on here that we're going to be uh, doing with uh, the 460 engine. And I have some segments coming up where I may be doing something a step backwards with my black coupe. We're going to put the engine out of it back in the screen gangster, as you guys know. But then we're putting another engine back in my car. It's going to be stuck. House stock, I might be pulling a couple, couple trips on this. So, um, we'll see how that goes as soon as I get my hands on the engine and see what we have there. But uh, I have something planned. And it may be, we might be doing a sleeper build. And what I mean by that, if people don't know what a sleeper is, it's where something looks stock and uh, you use stock parts, but you do what you have to do to make the uh, engine make power. So we might be doing that. Um, it's something I wanted to do for a while anyway. And all our engines are factory long block things that we do, but this is gonna be using the stock camshaft and well, I think a stock Ford intake. I have one here and I think we're gonna do a little bit of work to it and make things a little bit better. It's something I'm thinking about. Things I'm got going through this head and uh, might as well let you guys in on it. And um, you can let me know what you think about that. Because my car, I don't want to put a cage on it, but uh, I still want it to run as good as I can get the thing to run. So, we're going to take that ban as it comes. But, uh, there's just a couple things we have coming up here. And, of course, we have this car right here. And I talked to my son about this. And, uh, there's some pretty neat things going to happen to this green car right here. So, uh, when I find out more about that, we'll be doing some segments on that. And, uh, I'm anxious for some warm weather to get here. Have to get back out on the truck, the 65 Ford truck. So, we have a lot to do, guys. But anyway, with that, I want to thank you for putting up with my nonsense and your comments, fellas. I appreciate that so much. And uh, you guys, I'll tell you, I couldn't ask for a better bunch of guys on my channel. That's the truth. So, uh, with that, guys, thanks for watching what I do, being interesting, being interested in what I do, 
And uh, I appreciate it, guys. Have a good night, and God bless.